Next up, this was a great uh, find. I really enjoyed listening to this podcast. That's Tim Ferriss, and that's one of his uh, business partners, Kevin Rose. And Tim, if you don't know, he made he did these great books. I've read them all. Uh, for Our Work Week, For Our Body. The Chef, I didn't actually read, but this one, Tools of Titans, I was reading this actually last night. It's a fantastic book. And Tim has been around for quite some time, uh, pretty respected uh, throughout, talk to a lot of high pro- profile people. I mean, in that uh, Tool of Titans book, he's got everybody in there from Arnold Schwarzenegger to Laird Hamilton to a lot of uh, great athletes and endurance and just everybody that you ever want to uh, hear about as far as what's going on. So, in this podcast, it was, it was pretty long, about an hour or so. He talks in the first half hour about Bitcoin. And what I didn't know was that Tim had actually invested into Bitcoin. Uh, back in early 2017. And he said, and it was pretty funny because he said, I'm lazy. And <laughs> the reason why I've done so well with Bitcoin is because I just kind of forgot about it. And I didn't realize what happened because when it went all the way to 20,000, I just kind of forgot about it. And I was going to sell it, but then something else came up and whatever. And uh, now, you know, he said it, it dropped so low. He goes, I can't sell it then. And then he goes, now it's just going to the moon. So I got to keep it anyhow. He goes, but and it's a really good case in point of just setting and forgetting it, you know, and then if you can dollar across average, like with me, what I do is I just set the recurring buy button on Voyager and I put in like 25 bucks a day into the the VGX token. That's what I do. And I just let it go. So it's pretty hard to just keep buying every single day. And you're like, ugh, buying, 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 buying. But if you have it kind of work in the background, you're like, meh, and just kind of like just happens. And then before you know it, you're like, holy smokes, I got a lot of cryptocurrency. That's kind of how uh, Tim's philosophy kind of worked out pretty well. Kind of works out okay uh, on this end too. So just be lazy sometime. And the second thing he was talking about in this uh, article or this uh, podcast, he says, if you really want to give a good debate, you got to understand the other side. So like on this channel, we always talk about how great Bitcoin is and how great crypto, but I'm going to start to really play devil's advocate and go on the other side and start to be like uh, Robini and talk, and talk to you about, you know, how it could fail and how it could not, might not work. Because I think it's best if we understand both sides of the argument, that way when things come up and you're talking to your family, your loved ones, whatever else, and they bring up these these, uh, these points, which uh, being valid or not, it's good to have an answer to that. And then the last thing, and this is kind of comes back to, uh, to what I did yesterday. He talks about how he's met a lot of people in crypto digital assets. And all these people are, he said, they're all geniuses because they've all bought at like, you know, way early. And they said, yeah, I made like a couple million or I made 500,000. He goes, and the next question I always ask them is this, well, when did you sell? Well, I didn't sell any of it. So what happened? Ah, well, you know, I wrote it all the way up and I wrote it all, all the way down. Does that sound like you? I will tell you right now, that sounds like me. And one of these things that I've been thinking about a lot lately is exit strategies and when to get out. So we did a live stream yesterday. Didn't go so hot because it was pretty glitchy uh, in the first couple of minutes. And then there was a bunch of lag time. But for some reason, the uh, recording came up perfect. I don't understand why. But I was talking about um, my exit strategy for Ethereum. And this was the strategy I was talking about yesterday. And it's, I mean, you can find that in the description of all my videos. It just says ETH exit strategy. I've got the Bitcoin exit strategy, all those strategies. Well, those two. And then I got XRP exit strategy, which the XRP exit strategy is pretty awful. It uh, doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't play into because that was before the SEC. So if you want a good laugh, take a look at that. But this one, I mean, it, it, it makes sense, but it's not very simple. And when I was looking at this and I keep looking at this and looking at this and looking at this and it's not a bad idea, but I think we can simplify it. I think we can make it better for everybody. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a separate video today. Uh, hopefully if it's good time, I should get time. And I call it the 80, 20 rule. Uh, actually, uh, the 80, 20 P rule. And it just goes like this. It's, I want what I'm going to do, not what you are, should do because I can't give financial advice. This is what I'm going to start doing for everything. I don't believe that this next bull run, 2021, is the end-all be-all. I think we're still very early, and we got another four years for four-year cycles to really hit our stride. So for this one, I'm not going to hold on to all my crypto. I think that would be foolhardy. Now, you can. You can hold it all on for the rest of your life. That's fine. But uh, after I was listening to, to, to Tim, I was like, you know what? I really got to get on the ball and really uh, be a little more stringent for all of my holdings based on my price predictions 
and the probability. So I'm going to share this with everybody uh, later today. But again, it's it's super simple. It's just an 80-20 rule. You're going to sell 80%. You're going to hold 20%. Even right now, it, it comes out to a lot better. Look at this one. 528 versus 158. And I think it's just a better option for everybody. All right. So uh, again, that's what I'm going to do, not what you have to do. So I will put these together for everything in my portfolio on top of everything that I have predicted, on top of all the probabilities. And I'll explain exactly what I'm talking about. So that is it. So thanks for watching. If you like these types of videos, there's going to be too much going to pop up on your left and right. Uh, go ahead and check those out. Let YouTube do their magic. Also, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing because right now, everything that we do and everything that we talk about is news related. And it really comes down to within that 12 to 24 hour time frame. So if you're not subscribed, uh, you may not get uh, the notifications. Also, if you even if you are subscribed, you still I still get shadow banned. That's just how, just how it is. I got many of people who say, hey, I didn't uh, you know get the notification. So if it would be so kind, click on that bell. And uh, that is it, because as these things roll out, this is going to be the year to really uh, bring it home. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.